Hey friends, welcome back. I am Jason Salyer and the American Red Cross, whether you want to admit it or not, is the leading authority on preparedness in our nation. They have put together an emergency preparedness kit checklist and I basically have that here in front of me. We're going to go through those one at a time and we're going to see if it's sufficient and it's something that you might want to consider for your family. Water. They recommend one gallon of water per person per day. They also suggest that you have a three day supply of water for everybody in your family if you need to evacuate your home and a two week supply of stored water at your home. That I'm assuming is because a lot of people do not have a water source other than the city water, public water supply that's pumped into their house. So I think that that's a pretty good call and that's a, a good minimum amount of water to have on hand. Three day supply of food for evacuation and a two week supply of food for your home. Easy to prepare, don't have to really cook it, that's what they recommend. And I would have to agree with that. And I think that that's a, that's a good minimum. And I when I say minimum, I stress minimum. Two week supply of food for your home is the absolute minimum. I would suggest up to a year, but hey, that's just me, you do you. A flashlight is recommended. Good call, Red Cross. A battery powered radio or a, one of the hand crank radios is suggested so you can get some intel, some information on what's going on in the world if there should be, should be some sort of natural disaster or man-made disaster. Spare batteries for your flashlight and probably it, rec it doesn't specify, but I'm assuming it means for the radio unless it has a, you have a charger specifically made for your radio. A first aid kit such as this one or an individual first aid kit, a more of a trauma type kit such as this one from Bear Independent, Refuge Medical, uh, just some band-aids, things like that. First aid kit is a really, really smart idea. That's a good call on their part for listing that one. Of course, the American Red Cross is going to recommend a first aid kit, and they actually do list the contents that they recommend to go in a first aid kit as well. A multi-purpose tool. Multi-tool like this Leatherman Wave Plus is what is suggested, and that is a definite win. Thumbs up, American Red Cross, for recommending that people have a multi-purpose tool. Sanitation and personal hygiene. Very good call. Does a lot for morale, just keeping clean, that is for sure, and will help you prevent you from getting sick and making your situation much worse. This big bag of wet wipes like this, man, you feel like a million bucks after you wipe off with one of those if you've been without a shower for a day or two. Important documents. Very good idea to have your passports, birth certificates, marriage certificates, deeds to your house, and car titles, and all that kind of stuff ready to go. So if you have to leave your home and potentially never go back to it, you could have this these really important documents that are difficult to replace. A cell phone and charger. Of course, pretty much everybody's going to have a cell phone these days, but a lot of people will forget to bring a charger. So make sure you've got the charger and the and uh, maybe even a battery brick spare bat going along with spare batteries so you can charge up your cell phone and still keep communications going. Family emergency contact information. Let's be honest, without our cell phones these days, do you know any phone numbers at all? Even the really important ones are, are, are escaping my mind at the moment. So the only really number that I know by heart is my wife's number and my granny's phone number. But other than that, it's important to have them written down so you can contact those people. Addresses of loved ones so you can find them. I think those are all really smart ideas cash on hand because you know if credit card machines and atms and all those things go down cash will still get the job done it does not recommend any specific type of cash just cash i would suggest that you carry smaller bills such as 20s because what if people can't have change you're going to be here we dropping 100 bucks on something and not be able to get change for it so i recommend smaller bills like this and uh, uh, and a fair amount. It doesn't even recommend how much. It doesn't say qu a quantity. It just says cash. So I would say several hundred dollars would probably be sufficient for most short-term emergency situations. Blankets such as this Mylar blanket or actual blankets, if you got the space, are smart. And that is what is recommended so you can keep warm and keep your morale up. If you're warm and dry, uh, you're going to be in a much better state of mind to make good decisions. 
a map of your area. An actual paper map is suggested in case the internet is down, your phone's not working, battery's dead, whatever. You could actually use a map of your area to get from A to B. I obviously live in the Florida Keys, so I've got a map ready to go for my area. All right, guys, well, there's the 15 items on the American Red Cross's emergency preparedness kit. They specify that this is the minimum kit. This is not everything that you should have. It's, it's the absolute minimum. I think it's a solid place to start, especially if you're not already a preparedness-minded individual. Take a look at that list that the American Red Cross has provided for us and, and get those items together for your family. So if you should have to evacuate because of some natural disaster or, or whatever, or hunker down in your home for a couple of weeks, you'll have the supplies that you need. And I think if, if our nation as a whole had these items, I think we'd be much better off when those problems occur. I think most people do not have, maybe not the people watching this video, but I think most people are, don't even have this level of preparedness. And I think that that's something that, that can change. So share this video with somebody that you think could use it. Um, the American Red Cross did a pretty solid job, I think, on putting this kit together as far as the minimum. Would I change some things? Yeah. Would I add to it? Absolutely. For example, there's no way to protect yourself. They don't list any way to protect yourself from the crazy people out there that come out of the woodwork when the disasters occur. I still think that it's a pretty solid kit and it's a good place to start. I want to know what you think. Tell me what you think in the comments. What's missing? Did they do a good job on this list? And uh, I'd love to give you, I'd love to hear some feedback and, and talk back and forth a little bit in the comments. So I'll see you on the comments section. Anyway, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I can't wait to see you on the next one.